Hey y'all, so I'm just going to start off by showing the process of me going grocery shopping. I picked up a little bit of onions, peppers, um, baked beans, fish, just stuff that I need to go ahead and prepare this meal. And so yeah, this is the process. Um, and so, you know, I added a little bit of more stuff to, to my cart because, you know, you can just never go for one thing. You just end up with a whole basket of stuff. So this is the end result. Okay, so we made it back to the house. And so now I'm going to just start preparing um, the vegan baked beans. And I'm doing it vegan because I'm cooking for my family as well. And they don't eat meat, so... So now you just see me um, chopping up my pepper. And so what I did first was washed it and then I just split it down the middle and I just take out those little extra white pieces that be in the middle of the pepper. And um, I just do that. You can take it out. I don't know if it's mandatory to do it or not, but um, that's what I do. And so that's what you see me doing. Okay, so now that that's done, we're just going to rinse them one more time. And then what we're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and chop it up. And we're going to go, um, what is this? We're going to go down vertical and do just vertical thin chops for the pepper. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go across and then we're going to chop them that way. And then there you have it, a chopped sliced pepper. We just make sure, want to make sure that they're um, small pieces because you don't want no chunky uh, pieces of pepper in your um, baked beans. Okay, so now I'm just going to dice up my onion because I'm also putting onions into this um, baked beans as well. So I just cut off the two sides of the onion and I'm going to wash it. And then here you just see me do my little method um, into getting the perfect chops of the onion. I know everybody has their own method that they use, so this is mine. And so what you see me do now is just chop and boom. Here we go, perfect chopped onions. And this part, not so perfect, but you know, we're just gonna chop those up and make it do what it do. And so here we have it. We're just gonna keep on chopping and chopping, chopping, chopping until we get the onions to look like this and just toss them in with their sisters, um, the green peppers, because you know, it's okay for them to touch their sisters and brothers. <laughs> Okay, so now we're just going to go ahead and saute our veggies. So I just put a little bit of olive oil into this pot. Um, and then we're just going to toss in our onions and peppers. And so this part is pretty much self-explanatory. You just put them in and you wait for it to sizzle up. And then we're just going to make sure that we do stir them around um, just so it doesn't burn. And so I'm going to show you what it should look like at the end. Just a little bit of brownness on the veggies. And the reason we cook them before we put them in the oven is just so that um, it doesn't have like a crunch. So they could just blend into the baked beans and, you know, just add a little bit of flavor to it. So now what you see me doing is I'm just going to dress up these baked beans. And as you can see, it isn't from scratch. So I just bought the baked bean cans, the vegetarian cans from Walmart. And so what I did was I drained some of that sauce out of the cans because, you know, it comes with a lot. And so I just drained it from all three cans. And the reason I did that is because I'm going to add my own sauces. So I didn't want it too saucy. Like I'm going to add the barbecue, the ketchup and all that stuff. So that's why I did that. And so now what we do, we just throw everything in. So I'm going to toss in my onions and peppers. And then here, I'm just going to add a little bit of brown sugar. Um, just let the Lord lead you. <laughs> and then I'm going to add in some barbecue sauce. Um, and then some mustard as well. I added a generous amount of that as well. And ketchup. And then the seasonings that I use, you can see it displayed. I'm going to use some salt um, as well as pepper. This is Creole. Um, and onion and garlic. And so you're going to see how much I use. It's just like a sprinkle of each, really, because um, we just want them to be flavorful. 
at the end of it. so this is what we have and so now we just want to give that a good stir so go ahead and mixy 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 all of that around and so we're just going to flatten it out before we put it in the oven we want to make sure that we went ahead and put our oven to 400 degrees fahrenheit and so we're just going to toss that right in and probably keep it in there for like 45 minutes to an hour okay so it's been about 45 minutes to an hour and so we're just going to go ahead and take out our baked beans and woo, woo, woo. look at that thing it is sizzling it's bubbling and it's looking just like it's supposed to and so there we have it our vegan baked beans okay now guess what time it is it's a mac and cheese time baby Okay, so we just gonna start with our sharp cheddar. We're just gonna shred our cheese um, this time. And so you just shred, 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 and then we're gonna end up with our sh all three of our shredded cheeses. And so we have our mild cheddar cheese shredded, as well as our mozzarella cheese, which we shredded. And we have some little cubes over there, and we're just gonna place those on top of our mac and cheese. Okay, to start on my macaroni, what we're going to do is just going to get a little bit of water in the pot, throw some olive oil in there just so the pasta won't stick. And then I'm also going to salt my water just to flavor the noodles a bit. And so once the water boils, what we're going to do is we're just going to toss that um, noodles right in the pot. And so for this macaroni, um, I use one and a half boxes of elbow macaroni noodles. And so you just want to make sure you give that a stir just so that that olive oil gets throughout the whole pot and so none of the noodles stick. And then just cover them up, let the noodles boil until they're al dente, and then we're going to go ahead and drain them. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and start on our sauce because over here we're going to make our sauce from scratch. And so what we're going to do is we're going to start off with some butter um, just so we can make our roux. And we're going to add, I added like one and a half teaspoons, well, one and a half a spoonful of butter. I don't know about no teaspoons and all that, but yeah. And so we're going to then add two spoons full of flour and so I had a little bit of mix up with this so let me show you what I did next so when you do this you want to make sure that your stove is on the medium just because um, with my stove here it's a new stove that I'm using and the temperature was too high and so it cooked up really fast or I might have just added too much flour I don't know but what I did was I took out um, some of this the little pieces you see I took out some of those so this is what I had left over and so I just added some heavy whipping cream um, and just want to add little by little and so this is what I'm doing adding little by little and just stirring it up just so that we can have no lumps and it can stay consistent and so I'm working through this getting that to be smooth and I'm just going to keep on adding um, heavy cream and a little bit of milk to it as well. And so here I added some more heavy cream. And so overall I had the tall box of heavy cream. I just used like half of that. And then right here I added milk, but I didn't get that part showing. So add milk and just keep stirring. Okay, now, so I'm going to go ahead and season um, my sauce. So I'll add a little bit of Creole, onion, garlic, and salt and black pepper. Um, so most of the seasons that I've been using before and the new season that I use in this one is just a little bit of cayenne pepper because, I don't know, it just a little spicy it up a little bit, but it, it just adds flavor. It's not going to be spicy. And so after that, I'm just going to stir that around, give that a good mix, and then I'm going to add in my cheeses. And so you just want to dump all of the mild and sharp cheddar cheese in there and save the mozzarella cheese. Um, in your bowl because we're going to use that later on and so this is the end result of our sauce and so i do want to remind you when i did add the cheese in i turned the stove off just because i didn't want the sauce to be watery and i find that when you leave the heat on it melts it too much so turn that stove off baby 
Okay, so now what you want to do is take some sour cream and uh, put it in the pan with your macaroni noodles. And we're going to crack two eggs in this. And once you mix um, that egg, make sure you mix it within, in the sour cream so it doesn't cook with the hot noodles. So just mix it around that sour cream. And then I add it in my seasonings and my cheese. This is the best part, so listen closely, everyone. You dump that sauce up in there, and we're going to make sure we get every last drip up in that mac and cheese. You heard me? And so that's what we're going to do now, and I'm just turn the sound off for y'all right now, okay? So you can hear what it's supposed to sound like, okay? Why, what the? That motherfucker sound like me. Okay, so now what I did was I just topped it with some um, mixed cheese and then I topped it with those um, mozzarella cubes that I was talking about earlier. And so I'm just going to cover with aluminum foil, place it in the oven at 350 for 30 minutes, take the cover off for the last 15 minutes, and boom, we have our baked mac and cheese, Zarya style. Okay, so I know y'all heard that sizzling. Now it's time to get into our final dish that I'll be making. I will be making some soy fish. Okay, so let's season it. Um, we're going to use some salt. We're going to use some Tony's Creole, some black pepper. And those are the only three seasons we're going to use. We're going to add a lot of mustard. Give it that little twang feeling, you heard me. And we're going to add some hot sauce as well as my... Old Bay hot sauce, honey. I'm going to add a little bit of sprinkles of that. And then we're going to just give that a good mix. Okay, so we're mixing and we're going to mix that up. And whoop. Girl, where you going? Get your ass right back in there. And so after that, so we are going to cover this up and just throw it in the fridge for like 20, 30 minutes. Okay, so we're just going to take our fish and throw it in the bag with our fish fry. And what we're going to do is we're going to just shake that up and then we're going to get our oil hot and ready. And so shake that up and then we're just going to shake off any excess off the fish and drop it in the hot oil and i have my temperature at seven and just we're going to fry that up till it get golden brown and crispy um so here you see me um just flipping those around and then take it out it's gonna look something like this Hey everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Zaria. Um, on this channel, basically, I'm going to be doing like a whole bunch of cooking, mukbangs, um, family stuff as well, as well as my friends. And so today I have prepared for you, um, before this mukbang, you're going to see the whole cooking process. So today I prepared um, baked beans, mac and cheese, some fried fish. My sister prepared some salmon balls and my boyfriend prepared some devil eggs. So I'm about to stop talking and we're about to get into this food real quick. And so right here I have my cup of ice. If you know me, you know I love my ice. Let's get into it. And I got a um ice machine now, so it's litty. And so today I got some mango punch juice, my favorite. If you haven't tried it, go get you some. Cause it was this for me today. And y'all, I am so tired. I'm not even gonna lie. This was a whole lot trying to get this prepared for you, but I got it done. So we're gonna take our sip and we're gonna get into this food. Oh, that's so good. So, 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 so good. Yeah, I'm a little bipolar. Let me see my girl. So, mmm. Got that mac and cheese and it's still high. I know you see it drop, but look at that cheese pan. Look at it. Let's go. Mm, 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 mm. This shit is smacking. 
and I haven't cooked in a minute because we just moved so we just now got our like kitchen stuff together and so this is my first mac and cheese in a long time but it's busting Mm -hmm. let me try these baked beans y'all and so if you see the um well you saw the cooking part these are vegetarian mac um baked beans just because my family's coming over and they're vegan and so they don't eat meat and so if you want to um just add some meat and cook it in with the uh with the uh with the uh onions and peppers you could do that as well those are so good and just use the same seasons as well but Let's try it. Delicious. Can't complain. So, so good. Okay, so this is my fish. Today I got some sway fish. Let's listen to the, the crunch on that. Mm. Y'all, I wish y'all could taste this. Hold on. We got some difficulties. Hold on. Okay, y'all be back. We had a little trouble. The phone fell, you know. We still getting it set up to my liking, but let's get back to our food. Okay, so, okay, I know y'all see this Old Bay hot sauce. If you haven't tried it, go get you some because when I say... It's busting. It's busting. Okay, let's put this on that fish. And so I did put it in my um marinade. Let me supply here. Forget it. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. The hot sauce. Ten out of ten. Ten out of fucking ten. Yeah. Oh, let's have a debate real quick. So, who mixes their mac and cheese with their baked beans? Because I do. It's a fucking fly, and it's about to piss me the fuck off. But it's okay. Comment down below if you do. Um, Mix your mac and cheese with your baked beans. Blow. And if anybody knows me, y'all know I'm greedy. Very greedy. And so here we have a salmon ball. So my sister made these. So good. I just can't get enough of these um vegetarian and baked beans. They're so good. Mm -hmm. Let's try out this double egg. Here we go. I'm just going to pop it all in my mouth. Like I said, I am greedy and I'm not afraid to eat. And nobody out there should be, especially my lady dropping a dog this year. <laughs> I wouldn't say this is my best mac and cheese. Just because we got a new stove and I'm like still adjusting to the temperature levels. Because our stoves get hot as fuck now. But it's still good, like the flavors. It's still there, ten out of ten. But it could be a little bit, you know, creamier. But I bet you my family be like, y'all, it's perfect. It's perfect. I'm my biggest critic, so let's get a close up of this. I hope it's not good. Mm -hmm. And so I'm going to tell y'all a little bit about myself in just a second. For everyone that doesn't, doesn't know me. Hmm. 
We gotta fly. We gotta fucking fly. We gotta fly. We gotta fucking fly. Can you get get on? Get on. I'm out video. Okay. Got the egg. I'm just gonna toss it right here. Ten out of ten. I really don't know where to put, but it's okay. So everyone that doesn't know me, my name is Zaria, like I said. Um, I go to Georgia State University. I'm currently a senior. Um, I'm supposed to graduate in the spring of 2023 i'm majoring in mathematics um and i'm probably going to go back to georgia state um to get my master's in either actuary science or finance something along those lines just because i don't want to become an educator but um that door isn't closed if it happens it happens if god lead me down that way he does but i do want to you know push myself to my full potential you know And so that's the main of what I'm doing right now. And I've always wanted to do YouTube. And so we're finally here. Like I've been, if you know me, my family does and my friends do. Like I've been wanting to do this since high school. And so I finally got around to doing it and I plan on sticking with it. I'm not planning on, I am going to stick with it. Especially because I love watching YouTube. I love mukbangs. I love food miss greedy over here i love food and so it's not gonna be just me cooking all the time i'm gonna go to places try new things and record my opinion on it i'm not really a picky eater so most of the stuff i'm probably gonna go by <laughs> just be honest for real for real and so yeah that's kind of what i am going to do with my youtube channel is mostly like food content but as well as um doing like challenges with my friends and my family as well and so i hope you found the whole video process of me cooking and eating interesting in some way um, I'm weird, so I like to watch people eat. But I know a lot of people like to, too. So, if you enjoy it, enjoy it. This is a little bit of salmon and baked beans. And as you'll learn, as you'll learn, I do mix my food a lot. Like, I'm not really, like, it doesn't make me cringe for my food to touch and stuff like that. So that's why I said comment down below if you don't care for your mac and cheese and your baked beans to touch because I feel like it's better that way anyway. I want you guys to know, like, I am not a professional in the kitchen. I love food, so I've eventually had to learn how to cook. So I learned how to cook mostly um, from watching YouTube, um, watching my sister cook. And my dad, he's a chef. So, I mean, I grew up around cooked food, and my mom makes some good food, too. Like, everybody in my family know how to cook. So I feel like it was... Lost my train of thought. It just came as a natural thing for me. But I feel like anybody can know, learn how to cook. Like, like, if you fuck up, try it again. And so I'm starting to get cool.
I'll fix more food than I should have, but it's okay. And so this is just the first video. So, of course, it's not 100% the best. There was some flaws, some little tweaks that I need to make about everything. Um, comment down below what you want to see as well. And like this video if you enjoy the whole cooking process. And me eating and chatting to you guys a little bit. Um, thank you for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, Zarya's World. Yeah, love you guys.